Hello, and thanks for joining me today. We are going to jump right in today with DIY stamp and die storage from the Dollar Tree. So here you can see my stamp storage is really a lot more organized than it was before. And I made these little folders to put my stamps in and my dies. So you can see right there, I have them all labeled. And I'll show you in this video how I organized all those. Uh, you can also fit your stencils, embossing folders, baby wipes for your stamps, and then your inks in the back. And I got my stamp block back there too. So I will show you an easy way to do this. So I begin with the little bin I got from the Dollar Tree. And this one's just a plastic one. Now if you want to decorate it, you can. But this I'm just leaving it like it is just for this demonstration here. And then I got these report covers and you get three to a pack for only one dollar so each report cover will make two of the little pocket holders for your stamps or dies so with this three pack you get like six pockets which is a really good deal and what I do is just go ahead and take the little spine I guess off of the um, or binding whatever it is that plastic thing yeah off of the uh, crease there where it folds and you'll notice that that crease there right where I took that little binding plastic strip thingy-mabob off is already seamed together so that gives you one end that's already complete. Now I'm going to cut the report covers in half and I'm just using my Fiskars paper trimmer for this but you can use scissors or if you have another type of trimmer but Anyway, I went ahead and opened up the little arm on the trimmer so I could measure exactly half. I am putting that in where like the long side is down at the bottom and that way it gives me those two tall uh, pockets. And so I'm going to just trim that in half and that gives me two. And notice, see the bottom which is already closed or seamed together I guess. And then all I have to seal then is just the two sides. And then I'll have the opening at the top. So the way I do it is I just get the plastic bin that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. And I use it kind of like a little pedestal or stand. And I have Dollar Tree tape, which is actually really strong. It's Jot brand. And I get a long strip of the clear tape. And I place that just right on the edge, but not completely. I leave half of it hanging over. And that way I can just roll that over onto the other side of the report cover and that will seal the edge. And then the excess tape just easily trims away with your scissors. So after I have that sealed, it really holds nicely. You wouldn't think that the scotch tape or actually it's Jot brand uh, tape would hold that seam that well, but it actually does. So you can just do that on the other side and then you'll have a completed folder and again you just fold it over onto itself basically and that is the best way I found to fold the tape over without getting too many air bubbles in the tape and just trim away any excess and it's complete it's really easy and affordable and it's a thicker plastic then you would just get like let's say like a little thinner plastic cellophane cover and you can fit your stamps and dies in the same folder if you choose. So here I'm just making the little white card I guess it's like more for decoration if anything but it kind of helps back your stamps so you can kind of see a little better what's on your stamp set. What I'm using it for basically is just a filing system. So I have these white cards and I leave a little tab at the top and that way I can uh, label them, you know, as to what the stamp set is. Now you don't have to do this part, but I just feel like it's helpful when I'm filing through my stamps just to be able to tell at a glance what I have. So here I'm just showing how I make the little tab. I just take a little corner off of the top there and cut that away and that just leaves me with a little tab and you can see here I didn't quite cut it exactly right so I'm just going in and fixing that so I just left that in to show you no we're not all perfect we don't always do everything perfect first time 
So <laughs> have mercy on yourself. If you are a crafter and you feel like, oh, I'm not as good as some of the others. Well, we all struggle sometimes and we have those cards we have to throw away sometimes. Try to salvage, you know. So I did go ahead and round the corners with my Martha Stewart punch. So I just fit that cardstock paper in and I'm going to add the label. And you can put your stamp set in with the cellophane wrapping around it, but that part is kind of fussy for me to deal with each time. And that's another reason I made these folders is just so I can just slide them in and out and I don't have to deal with that packaging cellophane. I do usually keep the card that came with it in case I ever want to do a de-stash or if I just want to know, you know, maybe what brand it is without checking the label. It's just, I don't know, I just... I'm just weird. I just keep it, but you don't have to. So the way I label the top of these is just to print it out on just regular paper. And then I just run it through my Xyron and stick those on. And then these magnet sheets I have on the back to stick the dies. Those are just like locker magnets. They're decorative panels for, I guess, school kid lockers or whatever. So um, those you can get at the Dollar Tree. Those are somewhat seasonal, so your Dollar Tree may or may not have them. If not, you can find them on eBay um, at a really reasonable price. So I'll have all of that linked for you over on my blog, and just check the description for details. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions or if I didn't cover anything, just let me know, and I'll be happy to answer in the comments. Hopefully this was helpful and you can use some of these ideas to help store your stamps and dies. So I would appreciate it if you would subscribe and thumbs up this video if you enjoyed. And thank you for watching.